What's up, Rebels? Yes, we have more Star Wars Unlimited cards, and we're going to open one of these pre-release kits here, which I believe has like six or seven packs in it, uh, kind of like the first one. Oh, there's six packs. We got two release promo cards that you can only get in this box. We got some counters, quick start rules, deck building guide, divider, and a deluxe deck box. So let's go ahead and crack this open and check all the stuff out, and then let's open the packs and see if we get any cool hits in this pre-release kit. And we do want to give a big shout out to Dave and Adams. This is our first purchase with them. And I know they've been around for a while. A lot of people buy cards from them. But when we were looking for pre-release kits, we couldn't find anywhere online that had them except for Dave and Adams. And they had them at the regular price still, which was really awesome of them that they didn't hike them up and stuff. Because some of our hobby boxes we got, we ended up paying like $200 for. And we're uh, I'm not too happy about that. That was Blue's call. And yeah, he granted he used a lot of his own money. But still, not cool. I feel like these cards should run about 100 to $120 max per box, but a lot of places out there are now hiking up the prices, which I don't completely agree with. But over at Dave and Adams, these were all available at a good price, these pre-release kits, so I'm very happy with this purchase. So let's check this out because in our last pre-release kit we got for the first series, we actually got a showcase in that. Um, so I'm hoping we can repeat history here with one of these two that we have here on display. So. We're going to open one today, and we'll open the other one in the next episode. So obviously, this is the exclusive card that you get in this set, along with Moff Gideon. You get Mandalorian and Moff Gideon, and then they do have shiny, awesome foil backsides to them. <laughs> shiny, awesome foil backsides. There you go. Go ahead and clip it. So yeah, these are awesome, though. They look really cool, and I'm glad to add these to our collection because Blue has a binder where he's been trying to get all the main base cards from the first set, and I think he's only missing like four or five left. And so we're gonna go ahead and start on this second set because if you try to find a box from the first series, they're running like $250 to $300 a box, and we're just not in the market to spend that kind of money on those cards. So I think he's just gonna buy the singles of the cards he's missing now, and he'll spend a lot less. So um, he decided to put more of his money towards these new ones. And so that's what we're here to do today is open these up with these amazing paper packs. I love these. Uh, they open up so easily. And we're gonna check out, we get a leader at the start of each one. And this is Dr. Afra, And I believe she's from the comic books, if I'm not mistaken, the recent Marvel comic stuff. So that's cool that we got her. And on the back side, you can see her leader unit, ground unit card. All right, and then we of course get our base. Second card's always a base. But I did, th I, I think I saw someone, I watched one video trying to do a little bit of research, but I also wanted to kind of go into these blind. So I don't know all the cards that are in this set. So if I see something here that I, I graze past, let me know if it's amazing. I'm going to keep an eye out down here, whether it's a common or a rare or anything like that. But still, if I miss something and I don't make a big deal out of it, let me know in the comments. Please educate me. Blue knows a lot more about this stuff than I do. And, uh, but I, I think they moved and shuffled around kind of where the rares are and, and stuff like that in these packs. So we're going to go ahead and go one by one and check these out and see who we get. So we got the Pike Sentinel, Desperado Freighter. That's cool. That almost looks like Dash Rendar's ship. If it is, let me know. It does look similar, although it doesn't have the rotating thing like the uh, the toy did back in the 90s. Um, all right, Tree Tender. That's cool looking. The artwork's still looking good on these. I still like the style overall, but I think we're going to start to see a slight change in some of the style. It looks like some of the cards from Series 3 leaked. And we might get a, um, a slightly different style in the next series. Who knows? We'll see. Gammon Retainer. All right. Resourceful Pursuers. All common so far. Bounty Guild Initiate. Forgive me for going a little slow, but I'm just trying to keep an eye on what kind of card it is. And also just checking out the artwork because these are my first time seeing a lot of these. So I'm just getting into it. Oh, here's a... Oh, that's cool. Wow. Awesome. All right. We got a Wookiee Bounty Hunter. Chrysanthemum. And uh, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that name, um, but that's really cool. He's not a rare or legendary or anything, but he's still a cool card, so I'll keep him aside for now. Oh, we got a jetpack. Awesome. For Boba Fett. Oh, tech. No way. Are we going to get the Bad Batch in this one? I didn't know that. And he's our rare. Whoa. And look at that. He, he doesn't have the rim around him, so that's cool. So it's a hyperspace tech. Oh, that's awesome. So I have some sleeves and stuff here. I think I'm going to sleeve that one. 
uh, that's really cool. So he's a, he's a rare, but I like that character. I like the Bad Batch. They're really awesome. I got to finish that last season, though. I'm still a little behind. We got another rare, Van Brent's Flamethrower, a Van Brace Flamethrower, and Slaver's Freighter. Cool. Nice foil. Um, that's awesome. So, yeah, and we still get one of these a pack, and it looks like it's going to be the last card. But, yeah, that's a rare, so I'm going to tuck that aside, too. And we'll just keep our other commons and stuff in a little pile over here. So that's one pack down. Let's keep going. We got six packs total. And like I said, we'll do this one box in this video, and we have a second box we'll do in our next video. Um, Gar Saxon. Okay. Awesome. And again, I don't know who all the new leaders are in this set. I think Kylo Ren, obviously Mandalorian and Moff Gideon, but um, I don't know the whole list. I, I stayed away from any major spoilers because I kind of wanted to be surprised, and I like being educated on stuff. So feel free down in the comments to educate me on certain things. Like, I am not 100% familiar with this character. Oh, well, no, wait, Mandalorian? Maybe I have heard this name before. Yeah, he's got the Darksaber. Maybe I have. My, I'm, I'm not uh, as, you know, encyclopedic with Star Wars as um, I am with other stuff. So, like I said, educate me, please. And we do play this game, but it's been a while since we've played a match, so I'm a little rusty on, on that kind of knowledge, too. But check that out, a Death Watch loyalist. That is great artwork. I like that a lot. Um, collection Starhopper, another common. Clan Ren Rescuer, Deathmark, awesome. Rivals Fall, Ooh, that's a cool looking card though with Vader fighting Luke. Nice, defeat a unit, perfect. I'll take that card, I'll put that in my deck. Uh, Merchant, or Mercenary Company, awesome. Fugitive Wookiee, and then we're going to be coming up on our spot here soon. Mandalorian Warrior, that's a good one. Look the other way. Hey, look at that four lom. Dude, that's cool. So this series, the Shadows of the Galaxy, is more about like kind of the scum and villainy portion of Star Wars. So it's got like more bounty hunters and you know rebels and things like that. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like not a ton of force users in this set, from what I understand. But that's really cool. Um, we got another uncommon here, scanning officer. Um, I'll put him over there. And Embo. Oh, that's cool. I remember this guy. From the animated series. Yeah, I like that hat. <laughs> he stands out with that look. But that's a cool piece of art, actually. Um, Bazine. All right. She's our rare. Cool. So we're getting a couple good rares on this one. Um, and a, another common foil. So sweet. All right. And check out our packs here with Lando, Boba Fett, and uh, Bo-Katan. Uh, yeah, sorry. Had a little brain fart there. And Bo-Katan. So let's check out a Bo-Katan pack here. And I still love that these have so many cards per pack. It just feels like the value is always there with these. Uh, Fennec Shand, okay. So we got Fennec, a common, but still awesome. And yeah, I know in that first pack we got Afra, and she was a, a rare. So, uh, so that's cool. I'm going to put her in a separate pile. And then we got Navarro City. Very nice. All right, Daring Raid. Common, Moment of Glory, common, but that's cool. Stormtrooper artwork. Foundling, also awesome card with the artwork. Sweet, Night Owl Skirmisher. Dude, a lot of Mando stuff in this one. That's good. Moisture Farmer, <laughs> awesome. Um, take Captive, oh, nice. Friendly unit captures the enemy, non-leader. All right, well, I like that card. And it's like another 262 cards. I think that was, I don't know if that's the exact number, but it was close to that in the first set for the base set. Oh, and look, we got it as a, a hyperfoil, a hyperspace, not a foil, though. But still, moment of glory. That's It's just a cool image. I like it. Yeah, look, this artist did all that, and they, like, <laughs> cover it. I mean, I know you got to. You got to have the card stuff on here, but still. I don't know. It's, it's cool looking. I'm going to keep that aside. Um, I like collecting Stormtrooper stuff, so. Cartel turnout, or turncoat, sorry. And protector of the throne. So now we get into our uncommons. We have bravado. Really cool. Ooh, Enticing Reward. That's another cool one. Oh, I like that. Great artwork. Sweet. Freetown Backup, another uncommon. Let's see what our rare is. Ooh, Wrecker! Awesome! Fringe Clone. When played, you may defeat a friendly resource. If you do, deal five damage to a ground unit. That's great, though. I like that. It's a great shot of him. Dude, he's awesome. That's a good rare. Okay, oh my, this guy was upside down. Uh, and we have an uncommon foil. Oh, wow, not a hyperspace, but yeah, that's just our foil there. 
for the pack. Uh, mercenary gunship. That's cool. I'll take it. An uncommon. I'll put that in the uncommon pile. All right, so we got three left. Two Boba Fetts and a Lando. So let's open one of these Boba Fetts. All right. Boba Fett pack one. Hey, look at that. And we got Boba Fett in the pack. That's great. So we have them in the first series. Uh, but this is obviously a different card, different artwork. Very cool. And he's a common in this series. But we'll still we'll keep him over there. Um, and Maz Kanata, her castle. Awesome. And then we got our regular cards here. We got our commons. Hunting Nexu, Pirate Battle Tank. Super Commando Squad. Oh, wow, that's a cool piece of art, though. I like that. Uh, Clan Challengers, another group shot. I love these. Those are fantastic. I'd love to get some of these in the hyperspace, see more of the artwork. Ruthless Assassin. Vampire's Grapple Shot, okay. We have the Flamethrower in the other pack, I think. Surprise Strike, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, from Rogue One. Cloud Rider. That's, another, that's awesome, from the Han Solo movie, I think. And uh, Underworld Thug. So we should be coming into our Uncommons now. We got Concord Dawn Interceptors. Dengar, what's up, dude? Speaking of bounty hunters, that's awesome. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad we got him. All right, Uncommon. I'll put there Lady Proxima. Whoa. That is awesome. I know it's an Uncommon, but still, it's that's I like the artwork a lot. When you play another Underworld card, you may deal one damage to a base. That's I like that. Sweet. General Recon, he's our rare. Rebel official. Put him in the rare pile. And take captive. Oh, that's a cool card. I like the artwork. Sweet. All right, two packs left. We're going to go with Lando. And we'll end on Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Hey, look at that. We got Han Solo in this pack. Sweet. New artwork. I think the other one from the first series is based on um, Harrison Ford, obviously. So this is the actor who played him in the Han Solo movie. So that's cool. And he's a common. So we'll put him over there. And we got Jabba's Palace on Tatooine. Sweet. All right, let's go through our commons real quick. Discerning Veteran. Detention Block Rescue. Warzone Lieutenant. Vigilant Pursuit Craft. That's a cool ship shot there. Um... Trandoshan Hunters, very cool. The Bosque People, Bounty Guild Initiate. Oh, that's cool. And we got the hyperspace around it. Awesome. Kenton Intimidator. And soon we'll be coming up on our uncommons, I think. Ma Clunky. All right. And Gray Squadron Y Wing. Awesome. So let's dive into our uncommons here. L337. Cool, a murdering robot. Awesome. Can never go wrong with one of those. I mean, I actually can always go wrong with one of those, but I like them for stories. <laughs> the killer droids are awesome. Uh, Remnant Reserves, another uncommon. Great artwork, group shot like that. Another group shot, look at this. The Tusken Raiders fell the dragon. Ooh, defeat a non-leader unit with five or more power. Ooh, that's a nice card. All right, I'll take that. Uh, uncommon. And here's our rare, Survivor's Gauntlet. And our last hit, Moisture Farmer in the foil. All right, one pack left. Let's see what we get. Hopefully some last pack magic. But so far, pretty good. I like some of the rares we got. I think we did all right here. So we got another Fennec Shand. So we got our first duplicate leader. So we'll put her over there. And then we have, ooh, Cornet City. That's cool. On Cornelia. It's a cool shot. Um, all right, a couple doubles we're going to start seeing probably in this one and now the next box, most likely. But we got the gunship, retainer, covert strength. That's really cool. Another common, though. Uh, Hut's henchman. And pillage. Uh, bounty guild initiate, which I think we got in the hyper, I think, in the other pack. I can't remember. Um, sick. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it looks sick. Uh, that's a cool ship, though. I have trouble drawing and painting spaceships. So when I see them vehicles, I'm always like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. That takes a special kind of artist to do this kind of stuff. Uh, freighter, we had that before, but those are all of our commons. Oh, look at this. We got Jabba's Rancor. That is our uncommon in this pack. And then we have another one, Top Target. Very cool. What's his name? Is it 
not DJ, right? Something like that. Um, or maybe that's a different character. And maybe it is actually. Cool. All right. Let me know in the comments. Oh, Bo-Katan. Okay. So she's an uncommon. Got her. And who's our rare? Oh, Woody Harrelson. Tobias Beckett. All right. That's cool. Smuggler. That's awesome. That's actually cool. That artwork looks really nice. And then what's our hit here? Our, our foil, I mean. Night Owl Skirmisher. All right. So not bad. You know, we got our, our six foil cards, you know, because we got one in each pack. We got our six cities or bases. We got our leaders. And this one we got eight leaders, though, because obviously we got these two. And these are unique to this uh, these pre-release kits only. And then also I think they announced today that there's going to be some San Diego Comic-Con and other convention exclusives. So if you go to San Diego Comic-Con or some of the other cons that are going to be happening for the rest of the year, you can pick up a set of six cards that you can only get at those cons. They're going to have the same six cards at each con. So if you miss one, you know, go to the, whatever one's nearest to you at your you know city that you live in and uh, you'll get a chance to buy those. I'm sure it's going to be madness, though, trying to get them. Um, but then we got a pretty good stack of uncommons here. Not bad. And then we have our rares. So no legendaries in this entire box, but that's okay because I think we this we're starting off, right? Like we're not getting too, too crazy yet. We have one more pre-release kit that will open the next episode, and then we'll have some hobby boxes coming at you and the two-player starter deck. So when all that stuff arrives in the mail, we'll definitely open them. But this video will go up now, and uh, you're watching it, so let me know what you think down below. And if you have any comments to make, please do. Educate us if you can on anything that we may have got wrong or, or didn't point out. Um, and then to come back for the next episode, we have one more pre-release kit to check out from our friends at Dave and Adam. So go check them out. Buy your Star Wars cards on uh, their website if you'd like. I'm going to put a link down below so you can check them out and check out what other cool stuff that they offer that you might want. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace.